Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are filming this spicy look right here. I wanted to do a super dramatic look and honestly, I haven't done a full face on my channel for a while. If you're new to my channel, my name is Fabrielle. I am a makeup artist who dabbles in all things beauty. And I did want to mention today's diffuser scent is from the Magic Candle Company, which is a company based in Orlando that makes smells that are similar to what you would smell in Disney World. And today I'm using their fragrance oil and ice cream parlor. It literally smells like ice cream and caramel and all things sweet and delicious. I've kind of noticed with their company that the sweeter scents I like better in a fragrance oil and then the more more um, earthy scents or smoky scents and things like that I like more in the candle mostly because the wick as it burns kind of has a little bit of a smoky scent to it so it doesn't go as good with the sweet smells in my opinion back to the look not a lot to say today I really am just gonna jump right in soon I just wanted to mention to please follow me on Instagram this look was actually requested by someone on Instagram through a poll that I did through my stories that's mainly where I decide what videos I'm going to be filming. So if it's something that you would like to partake in, please head on over there and feel free to DM me anytime. And my Instagram is at Fabrielle. All right, so let's jump right in. I am using a primarily Anastasia Beverly Hills lineup for today's look. So I'm going to use their eye primer. This is a very strong eyeshadow primer. Colors show up very brightly on it. My only issue with it is that it is a very light color. However, since we are doing a very dramatic look, look it actually covers most of the primer so I like this primer for dramatic looks but not so much for natural looks I'm gonna be using the Anastasia subculture palette which is the one in the green velvet and I'm gonna start with this dark teal called axis because this is a very dramatic look usually I like to start with the darkest shades I'm gonna apply this using the morphe e18 which is kind of like a chubby pencil brush and I'm gonna put this in the inner and outer corner and then lightly in the crease Next, I'm gonna use the Morphe M506 to blur out the edges. That's just gonna help the next shade blend in really nicely. Next, I'm gonna go in with this more olive tone shade called Destiny, and I'm gonna apply that using that same M506 brush, and I'm gonna place that right over the edge. And then I'll go in with another clean brush to blend out those edges. Then using a makeup wipe, I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the pigment in the middle. Next, using my Delium Tools 936 brush, I'm gonna go in with that same Anastasia primer and we're gonna cut our crease just in the center. Then with a clean flat brush, go ahead and blend the edges of the primer. Going in with that first brush and axis again, which is the dark teal color, we're gonna go ahead and touch up the inner and outer corner, make sure that it's nice and blended, and we're gonna create sort of like a V. And you're gonna see what I mean as I'm doing it. But basically when I'm doing the inner corner, I'm sorry, the outer corner, I'm gonna be working in, and then from the inner corner, I'm gonna be working out. And it's gonna create kind of like a small V. Then I'm gonna use the Morphe M224 with the shade Electric, which is this kind of like iridescent yellow green olive shade. And I'm gonna put that all over the center. Next, I'm gonna go in with the M506 brush again, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Edge, and I'm gonna just run that through my crease a little bit just to kind of add back a little bit of warmth. Then using the makeup wipe, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the edges. To top off the eye look first, I'm gonna add the IO Beauty Glitter Gel in Midas, which is just a really pretty coppery gold shade. To apply the glitter gel, I'm gonna use this new silicone brush from Morphe. It's the M760. It's just this really pretty oval shaped brush. And then I'm gonna do a very thin cat eye over the whole look using the Anastasia Liquid Liner. I 
I already applied mascara, so now I'm gonna apply lashes. These are the Lily Lashes Faux Mink Lashes in Miami. I really like this style. It's really fun and full and spiky, and it's really perfect for this kind of fun look. Starting on the face, I'm gonna use the Rose Flash Balm. I just want something that's gonna be really hydrating like this, but also smoothing. For foundation, I'm using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in 335 Warm. This is a really nice natural looking foundation. Very good for the summer because it's fresh looking even though it's got a good medium to full coverage. So I'm taking two pumps of that. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Medium Sand. I love this color because it's just my perfect shade. And if you guys don't already know, this concealer has phenomenal coverage. You don't need a ton of this because it does have such good coverage, so I'm just kind of doing areas that I know for sure I want that extra coverage, and then I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the rest of the area. Then using the back of my beauty sponge, I'm gonna apply this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 20 Light Medium. Very natural shade, I like that because it's less of a white cast. And I'm gonna apply a good amount of this. For bronzer, I'm using the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rich Amber, the shade right here. It's very nice and warm, and I kind of like that for this look. With greens, I like to mix that more with warmer tone colors than cool tone colors. And I'm gonna apply it with my tried and true Morphe N530 brush. I just, this is my favorite brush for like bronzing and contouring. I love it. Now that the brush has basically no more color on it, I'm gonna use it to wipe away all of my powder from earlier. Honestly, I like doing this because that way if it does look a little bit too light for my taste, if there is any bronzer left on this, it'll help kind of darken that again. For blush, I'm using a super oldie but a goodie, and that's gonna be Milani Luminoso. This peach luminescent shade is just absolutely for this type of look. And I'm applying that with another fan favorite, the Morphe E4 brush. But I'm not gonna be applying this necessarily on the apple on my cheeks. I'm gonna be applying it a little bit higher so that, that way it makes my face look more lifted. Sometimes because I do have such a long face, if I apply the blush too low, it just kind of brings down my face. It makes me look older than I am. Tricks of the trade, darling, tricks of the trade. For a highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in Vegas. This is a really pretty kind of champagne shade and it matches really well with the color we put on our lids. I feel like you guys already know what I'm going to apply that with and that's going to be my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. And we're gonna save that highlighter to the side because we're gonna come back to that in a minute to highlight our brow bone and our inner corner. To finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Life Liner. I'm gonna go in with the pencil side, which is super dark black liner. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know if it was mine in particular, but I don't love the liquid liner side. However, the pencil side is amazing. It's so dark and it lasts all day. So for this type of mega smoky look, that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna apply that first. Then with the liquid liner, I'm gonna add the cutest little point in the inner corner just to really give us that little almond shape. Then I will smoke out the lower lash line with Axis, which is the teal color, and Edge, which is like this light mustard shade, and then mascara. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera. I did recently come out with a brow video if you wanna go and check that out. So now we're gonna start on lips. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a clean Q-tip and I'm gonna go ahead and remove any foundation or makeup that might be on my lips. 
Then I'm gonna apply the teeniest bit of lip balm and I'm using my Vaseline Lip Therapy Balm. As you guys know, it's my favorite. It's fragrance free and honestly, it's been so good for my sensitive lips. For lips, I'm gonna line them with the Dame Boss and Colors by Cora Lip Liner in Cafe Hold the Leche. And I'm basically going to totally fill in my upper lip. This is going to create a contrast that's going to make my bottom lip look plumper. And for lipstick, I'm using some of the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. I'm going to use very little of this, mostly in the center of my lips. Again, just to create that kind of illusion of plumper lips. All right guys, so that is basically it. This is the final look. As you can tell, very smoky, very dark and mysterious. I absolutely love the shades in this palette because I love those deeper greens and teals. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Is this a look that you would rock? Are these colors that you like? But that is basically it. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends if you really liked it. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!